What's up my homies? What's up everybody? My name is Axel and I like to build stuff. This is my four stroke compressed air engine. And if luck has it, you guys clicked on this video because you guys wanted to see me build this. Now, this video actually won't include any tests of, the, of this engine because I already made a video about that. If you want to find that, link will be up there as well as in the description down below. But this video is going to be dedicated to the actual build of this engine and of course how you can get it running yourself. So with that, let's dive straight into the build. Okay, so first off, we have the push rod, which we just insert to the block just like this. It should look a little something like that. As you can see, it hangs out right there. Very nice. All right, and next you have the camshaft bearings, which get pushed in there. There's a 16.5.5. Uh, pretty nice bearings, and it should flow nice and smooth with the camshaft. Very nice stuff. Now we move on to the gear, which you just press on like this, and then it should move freely. Next we have the crankshaft, which as you just saw, were like five different components, got a ground off uh, bolt right there, just put it on like that, there you go, piston and conrod. Now you just put it on the shaft, booyah. Next you put it on the other side of the crankshaft, very nice, very nice. Next you put it on the timing gear. Now for the timing, we have this in Fusion 360 uh, to try and help make it less confusing. So first off, as you can see, the uh, piston is at top dead center right now, uh, very easy to see, push rods right there. So, for the timing, so you notice these little notches on the shaft. So those are supposed to be pointing straight up. And with that, the first gear is a 13 by, it's a 13 tooth gear and a 26 tooth gear. Now this allows for the four stroke mechanism, but as you can see, there's two right here and one at the bottom. So this is how you time it. So with this little notch facing up, both of them, you'll see you have two at the top and two at the bottom. Now what you do is you take one, two, three gears down, okay? So right there, two and three, two and three right there. Okay, and then we put that in between one, two, three, four, and five. So you go two and three and five, okay? That's the timing. Next, we go onto the cylinder head, which is just an O-ring, press fit in like that, very nice. Next, ball valve and pneumatic fitting. See that, just like that. All the links are in the description, by the way. So there you go. That's done. Then we have uh, camshaft right there. Sounds very nice. Then flywheel and 20 millimeter bolt. It should move nice and smooth like that. Then we have the Ninja Flex gasket or rubber gasket, depending on what you choose. Put that and boom. There you go. Got your engine. And I know this video was a little fast paced and a little uh, choppy and not well put together, but that's because I'm wanting to put all my focus into the next project, which is actually going to be the 3D printed car. Now, that'll be super cool with a one-cylinder, four-stroke compressed air engine in it. I'm really, really looking forward to that, and I would like to quickly announce here, as well as on the YouTube short that will be releasing shortly after this video, is that I have decided to go with the manual gearbox per your guys' request. So. With that, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to comment any of your video ideas down below in the description. Make sure to leave a like on it, and I freaking love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.